Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. We are going to be planning out the first full week of December, oh my gosh, the 5th through the 11th. Not a crazy busy week, but I still thought I would share what I'm getting up to uh, and hopefully start to kick off some of the festive celebrations. So if you're interested in seeing what we're doing this week, just keep on watching. Okay, so as usual, I have gone in and set up my reoccurring daily to-dos and then just the different things that I track each week. I am not tracking my pill for the first five days of the week because I am on my break. So yeah, you won't see that there, but we are just tracking the usual other stuff. So getting straight in with Monday, I've got a few YouTube to do's uh, this day. So the first thing is to edit my December budget, which I did film last week. So I just need to actually edit it now. I want to upload and schedule and get the thumbnail done as well. So that's everything to do with my YouTube stuff. I do need to contact Desiem, who actually own The Ordinary, um, because I did make an order a couple of weeks ago and for some weird reason they've shipped it to like a random convenience store in my area. Well, I say in my area, it's not like a walking distance from my house for some odd reason and I um put the shipping address as my house so that I didn't click click and collect um I do have like a UPS thing where I can just go collect it but I'm just like why am I gonna take time out of my day to go and collect it when that's literally not what I asked them to do so yeah I don't know I'm gonna contact them and see what they can do thankfully I didn't pay for shipping it was free shipping but yeah all they need to do is just get the package and just deliver it to my house so We'll see i need to contact them i don't know if they've got like a live chat on i'm filming this on the sunday so i don't know if they've got like a live chat available so i'm just gonna wait until monday to do it so that needs to be done i have got zumba at 6 30 in the evening i'm still very much keeping up with zumba and loving it i just like i've said in previous videos i now need to just make sure i do a lot of weight training because i'm not trying to lose all the junk in the trunk so that's um, pretty much Monday. Oh, I do want to actually set up decorations or I should have just done decorating because I cannot believe it's, well, well, as the time I'm filming this, it's the 4th of December. I don't have any decorations up in my room, which is absolutely ludicrous. I'm usually that person that like I would set up my decorations, honestly, like the start of November, like I'm obsessed. But I don't know, this year I've just not really felt massively festive i haven't really been doing anything festive recently so that's maybe why but i'm gonna finally just sort it out tomorrow i'm gonna try to see if i can do it today but i'm not i know that i've got quite a few things to do today so i'm not gonna put that pressure on myself so i'm just gonna put it on the list to do tomorrow i definitely don't get it done today i'll definitely get it done tomorrow so that's monday on to tuesday so I do want to film my november back plan which is just my monthly plan with me I did have this on the list for me to do last week and I just didn't get around to it. So I need to do that as well. I also need to pack uh, because I am going on a work trip the day after. So yeah, I want to make sure I pack. That's obviously important. And I just find that because I leave midday the next day, at least if everything is packed like the night before, all I need to do on the day of is literally put like my sponge and my like electric toothbrush in and then everything else is okay. So that's pretty much it in terms of like to do's for Tuesday. Uh, I also, of course, have Zumba. Nothing is going to stop me from going to Zumba. And I've got that at 6.30 as well. And also at 6.30, I have got my video going live, which is the December budget. So yeah, I want to make sure that goes live. And I will say, if you guys are into budgeting, definitely check this video out because it's going to be my first budget since I got my pay rise, which is exciting. So I was able to budget with a lot more money this month. So that is pretty much Tuesday. Not really much going on. Like, I, guys, I did say it's not going to be like a crazy event for a week, but you know what? It is what it is. This is real life. On to Wednesday. So I do want to double check packing i just think that is important because there's always something that i miss i want to i'm just going to put the word edit now i'm going to put that quite loosely because i have quite a few videos that i've filmed that are in the backlog to be edited so i'm going to just try and get like a bit of editing done annoyingly my laptop is broken so normally on these work trips i have like a two hour commute to where i'm going i'm going to a city called leeds 
and it takes just over two hours on like a train and that's not including the underground to the train station and what i like to do during that time is just get a mammoth worth of editing done which is such a good like time to get it done because i'm literally just on my own i've got space um actually on the way back i've even in first class so yeah that would have been perfect however the screen on my macbook has completely gone so the only way i can use it is if i connect it to my um like monitor and i obviously i'm not going to have my giant monitor on the train with me so yeah that's kind of annoying um so i definitely want to take advantage of editing prior to me leaving i do have a few meetings on wednesday but maybe on like my downtime before i go i say that but like my, my train is literally at, um it's literally at two o'clock let me put down something actually for that train i think it's at 203 i might be lying i'm just gonna put 203 anyway um so yeah i will obviously have to leave before that because that's just my train from king's cross st pancras uh which is probably like a 30 40 minute underground journey well door to door so train to leave still got this broken ass ruler um and yeah i'll probably be on the train until like 4 15 ish and then when i get there i'm gonna go straight to check into my hotel so i'm just gonna put whoop, a little that didn't work out, a little sticker to check in and then later that evening i will go to the gym and have dinner but i'm not actually sure where i'm going just yet so the good thing obviously about going on work trips is that everything is expensed so i will be getting lunch earlier that day before i get on the train to leeds and that'll be paid for by work and then my dinner also so yeah i have gone to a, a bunch of different restaurants because i've traveled for work um about five times i think this year so yeah i need to figure that out but sadly this will be my last um trip away to leeds because in the new year i am actually moving to a completely different team within this client i'm only going to be with that team and this client for like another three months and then i'm going to be completely rolling off and be moving to a different client so bittersweet because i really have enjoyed traveling for work i think it's not been too often to the point where the novelty has worn off at one point it did a little bit because i was going like more than once a month and that just felt like a bit much it does obviously take out pretty much like two days two or two and a half four days of like my week and it is quite tiring and i do feel exhausted because the traveling alone is just very tiring um but it was kind of nice to just get away and like have as silly as it sounds like a bit of a mini staycation uh, and the hotels i've been fortunate enough to stay in some really nice hotels and it's mainly the hilton hotels so the one i'm going to has like a nice spa um when i say spa it's just like a pool um but i think i'm actually gonna be on my period this week so i'm probably not gonna go to the to the pool but i will go to the gym and the gym is really nice so yeah i need to figure out where i'm gonna go for dinner and book that in but um yeah there is a chinese like buffet that they have uh, well i say it's a buffet it's not really a buffet it's an all you can eat but like you order it and they just bring it to your table so I might do that, but I'm also aware of how unhealthy that is. And I'm trying to like be a lot healthier and more intentional. So I might not do that. I might just do like las iguanas instead, which is like tapas. And I always love everything I get there. So I might do that. I don't know. Who knows? I'm very type A and clearly very looking forward to this trip. So I'm literally planning what I'm having for dinner like <laughs> a week before. But anywho. So yeah, I will get my train. I'll pull up around 4.15, check in get myself situated and then um probably head straight out for something to eat come back sort myself out have some downtime and then go straight to the gym um and have kind of like an early night because i will be getting up early the next day uh in terms of other to do's i've got on wednesday i do want to oil my hair that evening so after i've come back from the gym i will oil my hair because i'm planning on washing it the next morning uh, and then I also want to clean my retainers before I go. And that's just a deep clean. Obviously, I clean them every time I use them. But I want to do a deep clean before I actually leave my house. Uh, so, yeah, I'll definitely do that. And that's kind of it. So that's Wednesday. Uh, on to Thursday. I am going to just put wash and style hair. And I have got my new Dyson Aero which i'm going to be taking i'm so so excited um to use that i've used it once and it came out nice but i didn't have hairspray because i'd run out so i bought hairspray now um and yeah that should be good so i'm gonna to get to the office around 9 9 30 so i'm just gonna pop that down and then i think i'm gonna finish around 4 4 30 and then i've got to catch my train 
think it's around five o'clock. I don't actually know the exact time. I need to double check my reservation because it's all been booked. Train from Leeds. And I don't think I get home until like, well, I won't get to London until like 7.30ish. And then it might even be a bit longer. And then um, I do have like a 40 minute commute back to my actual house. Um, but thankfully this train, I decided to get first class. So it'll be lovely. I didn't realize with my like company that the policy is that if you're traveling over two hours, you get to book first class. I didn't realize that. And I've been booking standard class all this time. Um, so yeah, it wasn't actually much more expensive, but I thought, you know what, let me not like take the piss. Let me just do like one journey first class. So I just did it on the way back because I figured I'm taking like an evening train. So it's likely to be packed. So I kind of want to be in first class as opposed to like my journey in. It's a 2 p.m. train. Not many people will be on it. So it'll be quite quiet. Uh, and I do always pre-select my tickets. So I'm, I always make sure like I'm sitting next to no one. Well, hopefully at the time I book, I'm not sitting next to anyone. And I'm always with a um, table seat. So yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, I'll just be going home. That's pretty much it for Thursday. And I'll obviously, I think I'll probably get up around 6 a.m., do like a half an hour workout, come back, wash my hair, style it, go have something to eat for breakfast and then um, walk over to the office with my colleagues. So yeah, we'll probably do that. It's going to be a bit tight, but I'll make it work. On to, no, Friday. On to Friday. So I do want to log my expenses and I guess this is kind of like a work to do. So I should probably go into my work planner. But I do want to like make it be the first thing that I do when I wake up because uh, I'll be using my corporate card and I just like to just get it out of the way straight away. Um, so yeah, I need to need to do all of that. So I'll make sure I just put that on this planner so it's like a, an extra reminder. I do want to edit my back plan video and then I want to upload and schedule and then I also want to do my thumbnail as well so yeah all of that stuff and then we're back to going to Zumba because I would have missed it for two days uh, but obviously I will be going to the gym while I'm um while I am in Leeds um and it will be good because I'll be forced to do <laughs> weight training because they obviously don't have a Zumba class at the um hotel so that will be really really good um but i'll be definitely looking forward to going back to zumba and that's at 7 30 on a friday it's pretty much it for friday it's going to be a very chill day i don't think i've got many meetings it's going to be like pretty much a downtime day um so yeah i'm just going to get all of my like work admin done during the day maybe actually film another video i'm not entirely sure i need to like have a look and see like what kind of things i want to film because i feel like it's been very much plan with me, budget stuff, and then not really much else in between, but I do want to switch up my content. So uh, yeah, let me know if you guys have any ideas. So Saturday, I do want to plan out uh, next week. So that's just like prepping all of this, prepping all of this on my planner pages, and then also writing out what I'm doing the week after. Like I always show you guys, I kind of create one of these cheat sheets. So when it does come time for me to film my videos, I'm not umming and ahhing as to what I'm doing. And also it just makes sure that I know exactly what I'm doing for the week. And if there's anything I need to prep on the weekend, I'm ahead. So I want to do that. And I'm also going to actually try to plan or to film um, my plan with me. I say it every single week that I want to film it on uh, a Saturday and I never end up doing it I just get really lazy so I want to try and do that this week because then it just means my Sunday is a lot more focused and I only film in daylight so really I have a kind of a short window between the time that I wake up and like 3 p.m I mean it's what time is it now it's 10 past 3 and it's starting to get dark and sunset is in like 40 minutes so yeah I really do need to like get better at doing that and it just means my Sunday, I can wake up quite early, get all of my like cleaning and chores done, go to the gym and then kind of have like a chilled night and like not get to bed too late because I'm just doing stuff. But today, for example, I got up kind of late today. I got up at like 10 something, but I was sort of just watching TikToks and videos uh, in bed until like one o'clock. And then I finally got up, changed my sheets, did a few chorey things, planned for next week. I'm now filming this and then I need to actually go to the bank before it closes and it closes at four o'clock. So hopefully I'll wrap up this video <laughs> in the next couple of minutes and then go straight to the bank and then come back, do some chores and then go to the gym. It's a whole thing. But yeah, by filming on Saturday, it's just gonna make my day go a lot more smooth for Sunday. Um, so yeah, plan out next week, film my plan with me. 
I also want to oil my hair. Um, I like to oil my hair the day before I'm going to wash it. I mean, I don't know if you should really leave this specific oil. It's the Miel or Mieli oil. I'm not sure if you're really meant to leave it overnight, but I've done it and nothing has happened. And see, I like it to have like a good amount of time to sort of penetrate through my hair. So I want to do that. And then I do have Zumba on Saturday mornings. So yeah, that's good. It's at 11.30. That heart is definitely wonky. So Zumba... 11.30, oh, we've moved to our AM. And um, yeah, that's honestly all I'm doing on Saturday, you guys. Like, I don't have any plans this weekend, um, which I'm kind of like looking forward to because the three weekends after I have like a ton of plans um, and I'm pretty much not going to be at home for all three weekends. Well, one of the weekends, Christmas weekend, I will, but I'm going to be doing stuff on, on Christmas Eve. So yeah it's the calm before the storm and i can probably get a whole bunch of stuff done i also just realized that i did have on my plan with me to wrap presents for saturday so i'm gonna write that wrap presents i'll probably um spend saturday evening with like a christmas movie some hot chocolate and just wrap presents and have a full-on like santa's grotto moment um because i mean i've all i've got to really wrap is just my family's presents so my mom my dad my sister my brother my boyfriend and his family, those presents have already been done. I'm actually just waiting for him to pick them up from me because it's quite a few and I don't want to lug them on the train when I go see him. Uh, so yeah, that is pretty much Saturday. On to Sunday, and I'm going to try and make this as quick as I can because we are losing light by the second. Uh, as per usual, my Sundays are very much a reset day. They're very much just me getting all of the chores done. So we always start by hoovering my bathroom hoovering my bedroom bringing down bins so i've got my um bedroom bin and my bathroom bin i like to do a bathroom reset i like to change my pillowcases i want to wash my hair that'll be done in the evening oh you guys i just realized my video is going live on saturday let me put that in that would be helpful uh, i will have a plan with me live and that is gonna be my 21st to the 27th Plan with me. I'm kind of behind on plan with me videos. Um, that's probably going to go live around four. Yeah, there we go. And then back on to Sunday. I think that was kind of it. So just Hoover bathroom, Hoover bedroom, take down bins, bathroom reset, change pillowcases, wash hair. Let me actually check what today's one looks like. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, friends, there you have it. That was my plan with me for the week commencing 5th of December through the 11th. Like I said, not a crazy busy week. I'm not doing a whole load, but I have got my final trip to Leeds. But yeah, thank you so, so much for watching this week's video. Let me know what you're getting up to this week. Have you started getting into the Christmas like festivities yet? Like, do you feel very festive or am I just sort of on my own here? Like, let me know. I'd love to know. Do make sure you have liked the video and subscribe before you leave. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.